Well, it looks like Radio Master have seen the future. During 2021, we saw the emergence of Edge TX and Express LRS as serious contenders. Edge TX started becoming the transmitter OS for many, and Express LRS external receiver modules moved out of the Tinkerer's 3D printed world and production modules started appearing. But now, Radio Master have taken a big step and released this new transmitter called the Zorro. It's a popular game controller sized transmitter with hall sensor gimbals. But the big news, and it really is big, this comes with Edge TX ready installed and an internal Express LRS module that's all ready to go. And for all sorts of good reasons, this combination is very probably the direction a lot of us will be taking in 2022. Now these emerging open source hardware and firmware systems are becoming more robust. And Radio Master is the first to commit to a full product that takes advantage of both. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do, subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. Radio Master have kindly sent me this Zorro and a couple of their ELRS receivers to have a look at. Now, they've only just arrived and I wanted to give you a first look and tell you why I think this is the future for RC. Welcome to HTX. So, at first glance, this looks like a fairly standard game style controller, but when you pick it up, you'll quickly realize it's a nice solid piece of kit. There's no creaking or clicking plastic parts, just a nice solid construction. This is available with a few options, but I opted for the Edge TX and Express LRS internal module. And this arrived with Edge TX 2.6.0 release candidate 2 flashed, but there is now full support for this radio in the latest 2.6.0 Santa release, so I'll be flashing that very soon. This will also be supported soon in release 2.3.15 of OpenTX if you don't want to use Edge TX. The internal receiver module in here is either a fully supported Express LRS, a 4-in-1 multi-protocol, or a CC2500 with TBS Crossfire. But since I'm moving all my new quads to ELRS, I opted for that. But there is this external module bay on the back, so you can use this with your existing Crossfire, Ghost, or Express LRS modules if you want. Now, these sticks, they're Hall Effect gimbals and actually feel very nice for the size of transmitter. The default arrangement for these is Mode 2, but you can change it to Mode 1 without taking the case apart. You can adjust the stick travel using these screw adjusters on the front and the spring tension and the self-centering with the adjusters on the back. There's a couple of replaceable soft rubber grips on the back and that's where the batteries are hidden. There's an 18350 cell in each handle, but you can power this directly from a 2S LiPo using this supplied lead. There's an XT30 on one end and this special connector on this end. You just plug it in the bottom there. You could strap the battery to these clips if you want, if it's small enough, or you can just put it in your back pocket, whatever you like. And there's also a USB-C connector here for charging the internal batteries. And this supports USB-C QC3 fast charging, and it'll take about 20 minutes to fast charge if you use a compatible USB Quick Charge 3 charger. It's got all the normal knobs and switches you need. It's got the usual Edge TX controls with this metal click scroll selection wheel on the side here, which actually feels very positive. There's a couple of three position switches on the top there. And these are two position switches. And there's a couple of momentary push switches there and there. There's also two scroll wheels, one on each side and two additional push buttons on the back. The antenna folds out if you want, but under here, 
there is, if I can get it out, a connector for an external RPSMA antenna if you want that. And in here is the Edge TX SD card which is supplied and there's a USB-C connector there for firmware upgrades. And that's the headphone socket and that's a DSC trainer port. Now, the speaker on here is actually very good, so the audio is extremely clear, and that's much better than I'd expect for something that's in such a small box. Call me weird if you like, but I prefer a monochrome display on my radio. I don't think color adds anything particularly, so I really like this mono display. It's a 128 by 64 monochrome LCD with an adjustable backlight. I haven't had a chance to try it on a sunny day yet, because we haven't had one of those for weeks and weeks, but it certainly seems bright enough. There's a couple of other things to note. The internal Express LRS module in here has a maximum power output of 250 milliwatts, and it's 2.4 gigahertz. Radio Master tell me there's no plans to produce a 900 megahertz version, but there's nothing to stop you using an external module if you want. Now this doesn't come with any receivers, but there is a bundle available with the ELRS version and you get a couple of receivers like this. It's a bit more expensive. For upgrading Edge TX, Radio Master recommend using Edge TX Buddy and I'll put a link to that in the description below. One last thing are these four M2 screw holes in the side. These are so users can make their own mounts or brackets and attach them securely to the radio. Finger grips for glider pilots or maybe supports for us pinchers, for example. It's a really nice touch. So that's about it really. This is all very nice indeed and I can see the Zorro being very, very popular. The price on this is $79.99 direct from Radio Master but I'm sure there'll be discounted prices available elsewhere in the near future. But I can see this being my new daily radio for my Express LRS builds. It's fantastic. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that helpful, why not subscribe and buy me a coffee to support the channel. There's links in the description. And I'll see you next time. Get out of your head.